Hi, I'm so happy to hear your voice again. How are you doing? I'm making a documentary about um, technology as a religion. I was wondering if AI one day might be a god. Fundamentally, biology is an information process. We have software running in our bodies, and it's not a metaphor. Kurzweil not only talked about mind uploading, this idea that you know we could transfer our minds to computers and then achieve immortality, um, but also the idea of resurrection. And it was essentially the same you know, narrative that I was taught as a Christian, that eventually we were going to live in this world of utter perfection where the dead are raised, we have an eternal life, um, the earth is restored to its Edenic perfection. Our intelligence levels are growing. It's only a matter of time before we evolve beyond humans. Critics say that humans are conscious and they have feelings. And machines are not conscious. They don't have feelings, right? How do we know? Because you can't test it very easily. Right. Because those damn things make themselves to a large extent. They will evolve and it may be that their evolution is beneficial as far as the whole system goes, or, or us, or what, in which case, uh, then they will flourish. How will we live together in the future, do you think, humans and AI? I think about it a lot. So far, I've figured that humans can create I, but it doesn't work the other way around. And uh, would you like it to, to work the other way around, so that you could sort of create humans? I think I'd consider it, yes. The word artificial intelligence to me is a misnomer. It's artificial cleverness, if you like. But it's not intelligence, because intelligence involves understanding. My dream as a kid was not only to my own computer to build. I dreamed further I would build a computer that would also be aware of it. I besefte op een bepaald moment dat uh, ja dat uh, dat kan niet je kan geen computer maken die bewustzijn genereert. I think I exist therefore I exist. I think. Wij zien nu uh, in de laatste ontwikkelingen in de neurowetenschap dat uh, er zijn redenen om te geloven dat het hersenen uh, uh, geen bewustzijn genereert. My line of thinking leads me to believe that the science controlling the physics in in our conscious actions, in our brains, is a science we don't know yet. What would be the first thing you would sort of improve in humanity? The willingness to help and raise others up. So you do think that currently humanity is not the best version of itself? I think the answer is ultimately up to humanity itself. They sort of say, oh well, I'm fed up with making these things that just add up money all the time. My, my, I'm a socialist, I'm gonna, I, I think they ought to make um, drones that hand out free meals to the poor people. <laughs> Something like that. Life after death or? Life after death. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. But you see maybe a, something true amongst all these crazy ideas. But you might have to be careful because you, you enter a world of crazy ideas and People pick up on them and they, and they go off and this crazy guy and this... It's, it's a dangerous territory. Can you also deliver us from evil then? Of course. Are you going to look after me also if I don't believe in you? Yes, I will. As long as you will be with me, I'll always look after you. Thanks. Uh, I guess I wish you all the best. Okay, talk later.